Hello everybody and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 as we start a brand new battle against the British. This is a uh, coastal raid or whatever. Uh, but this one is to sink any two enemy ships in the area rather than destroy a land bombardment target. The Germans have sent us two armored cruisers and three, or not three, excuse me, two um, two destroyers. We'll see how this battle goes. The enemy presumably has their last dreadnought in this area. Uh, well, it's possible they're in the engagement. The game gave me my dreadnought. Typically, if the game gives me my dreadnought, the enemy has their dreadnought. So long as we both have dreadnoughts. Though the game was reporting an estimated enemy force in this region was a pre-dreadnought. A CVL, I think two armored cruisers, and probably some destroyers. I wasn't really paying full attention. Either way, they, uh, oops, didn't mean to open up that, open up the wrong, uh, window there. Uh, but yeah, so th the fact that I have my dreadnought indicates the enemy probably has theirs. There's no guarantee that that is the case, of course, but they probably do. Now you have, you do, it's just, you can't launch because weather limits air operations and apparently that is limiting your ability to launch scout aircraft from your catapult. Unknown radar contact. Uh, not sure what it is. Probably cruisers or maybe even destroyers of some sort, so Missouri's gonna break off a little. Um, also, this rain is impacting your uh, sight range, so we won't be able to identify until we're basically on top of them. Those are definitely combat vessels, though. They turned. They were transports. They wouldn't know... I'm here. Uh, armored cruiser. Uh, recent design. The other thing is going to be an armored cruiser as well. We're going to bring the Missouri in. If these are just armored cruisers, those are easy enough to deal with. Scharnhorst is kind of getting wrecked, but you know what? I am fine with this because it's a German ship and not one of mine. I don't give a crap about Germany's ships. Ooh, got a magazine hit on whatever that was. It's being listed as a pre-dreadnought. Again, that's the estimated pre-dreadnought from the British that they don't actually have, so that's probably an armored cruiser. Uh, Scharnhorst took a hit to the engine. It's... nope, nope, no, no. Scharnhorst, you're not going to be slowing down the blucher. I don't care how much you want to. Uh, you're gonna sail back to Germany. Well, that's not actually accurate. You're gonna go to Halifax. Now the thing is sitting at supposedly medium damage. Uh, Germans have yet to invent smoke on all ships, and we got another magazine hit, I think that was. Uh, no, flash fire on the Y turret. I mean, that's fine with me as well. Okay, well, we completed our objective, but, uh, no, fuck them. I don't like the British, I'm pissed at them still. So we're going to sail up to the port and uh, see if there's any other damage we can do. Another unknown radar contact. Uh, oh, okay. South. Uh, send the destroyer south. Take care of that. That's going to be a transport more than likely.
I mean, it could be a dreadnought, but it's probably. It's probably just transports. Um, you sailed literally right past that. Turn back around, I need you to re-identify it. Or just shoot at it, I really don't care. Both are efficient means. Uh, Missouri, you're getting a little too close to potentially running into an enemy minefield. Uh, enemy transports to the north side of St. John's, apparently. Don't know what the hell scouted that, but something did, apparently. Oh, and these things do have the nice fancy dual guns. Why aren't you shooting? Okay, because it was already sunk, basically. Or at least you, you guys saw that it was already capsizing, I guess. Okay, deal with any flooding you had? Yes, you did, wonderful. But you're still going to go with a nice, slow, leisurely 10 knots, because anything else, and you're going to blow a bulkhead. Unknown radar contact to the south again. Uh, Missouri, I'm going to go ahead and tell you you're starting to get low on fuel. It's just uh, send you home, basically. Uh, you saw something right here. Just went to slow down, not speed up further. There he is. And you lost sight of it for a second. Come on, you guys have fired at unidentified ships before. You literally just did it, in fact. Really? This time you decided... Now, wait, wait, wait just a second. Maybe it's... Maybe it's a friendly ship. You literally just shot it. If it was friendly, they're gonna be pissed at you anyway. Oh shit, okay, that's a Corvette actually. You know what, that's fine. Don't care. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that's already sinking. Go back up there. Uh, another unidentified enemy ship. Down here, at the Scharnhorst found. That might be, again, a transport. I don't know. Oh shit, and your range is actually just slightly smaller than your radar range. That's nice to know, I suppose. You technically have a chance of identifying a target just before it enters gun range. Not that that does you any good when your sight range is significantly smaller and you don't have the ability to blind fire from using radar. Okay, sunk all their stuff. So an armored cruiser, a destroyer, a corvette, and four transports. So one of the things that took a, well, probably actually the first thing, well, not probably, definitely the first thing that took a hit to the magazine and exploded from it was the destroyer. And then we had to flash fire the armored cruiser. The British are now going to have a harder time um, dying from flash fires as a result of this. Because every time you suffer a flash fire, the game does give you, uh, I believe it's every single time. 
definitely at least the first time, but I believe it's every single time it happens. Uh, basically, the game gives you a modifier that decreases your chance of getting hit by a fl or your ship suffering from a flash fire. This is sort of meant to simulate your guys studying, going and seeing what caused that to happen, and then fixing that problem on all existing and future ships. Well, at least all future ships. I think it also applies to existing ships as well. Uh, great job. Don't care about German dreadnoughts. Increased kill chances of enemy submarines. Great. Guys, you haven't figured out single SAM launchers and you're trying to do double? I mean... Yeah, we only have guided bomb. You're trying to skip to... You're trying to skip ASM. And the initial tier of SAMs. And I think also SSMs. To go to double launcher SAMs. I mean, I won't complain about SAMs. Those will definitely help against the British aircraft. But, really? You're, you're just going to try and skip over... ASM, normal SAMs, and SSMs? Really? Dual purpose you and look at that. The Brooklyns go from 44 to 56, which is not a whole lot, but whatever. Uh, how many secondary guns until you complain? I assume it actually was probably 10, right? Uh, no, actually I can use more than that. Okay, 16 and then you'll complain about that. Okay, you're overweight. We can fix that. Can I, you know what, I'm going to send you guys for a nice big extensive re- or maybe not, because evidently that is just not at all possible. I was going to give you guys dual guns instead of the single nines, but that's not possible apparently. And they can't be upgraded to 10s. Which I'm not surprised by, but you know, I was kind of hoping. I was hoping maybe, maybe it'd be possible, but no it's not. So, oh well. Uh, so 58 heavy AA factor, which I think is actually lower than the 1020 uh, that you had before, but whatever. Oh, and switching to diesel now actually does save weight, so I'll take that, I guess. Um, no, okay. Will you actually even let me know? Okay, yeah. Technically, you would even let me do that anyway. I'd have to drop you down to uh, six inches. Really? You wouldn't be able to do eight. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Uh, nothing else I can really do with you then, in this case. Uh, and with low freeboard, that ain't helping you, and I can't do anything about that either. We can't uh, tack on extra freeboard. No matter how much I wish we could. So, 10 months for that, the Brooklyns will survive until the end of the game. Which is, uh, yeah. That's a thing, apparently, now. Oh, Dreadnought's here! And they are gonna give me battle. Ah, but it looks like it'll be cruiser. Oh god, it's gonna be cruisers. Oh god, okay, well, this means they probably have their armored cruisers, and well, uh, <laughs> uh, our light cruisers don't quite hold up to their heavy cruisers, which is not surprising, because there are completely different tiers of ships, for one. Unknown radar con... Are those really unknown radar contacts? Because I kind of feel like you guys spotted them not via radar. Okay, destroyers. Slow down to a nice 20 knots. Need to knock those out first. Okay, and we're going to be relying on radar for this, which sucks because... 
We can't blind fire with radar. I think we might have hit his rudder because he's still just going in that same direction is not turning at all to re-engage. Uh, that is not a transport, the one that is blue there. I know it's not a transport because it's blue. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure it's not a CV either. I mean, it could be, but I don't think it is. It's probably a destroyer, like all these other ones are. Oh shit, the Cincinnati actually took a hit to its, uh, belt. Oh, and we destroyed one of your forward guns. Suck on them apples, Blackwater class. I'm gonna turn in. Like this. Now we're sailing blind. Don't know what you are. But if you are a CV like the game was reporting, which again I, I don't think is the case. Uh, you're dead. So, enjoy. Just to make sure... I have a torpedo salvo. Okay, that's gonna miss, so those were definitely... Well, no, I say definitely, that's not quite true. Uh, more than likely, not a CV, because... Typically, if you fire torpedoes at destroyers, they just miss. They, I guess, basically just go underneath the ship and just fail to actually make contact, while uh, anything else, yeah, no. It's pretty rare that that happens. And yeah, you guys don't have tons of ammo, so you're already pretty much out. Well, actually, well, I think you have fired all your AP from your forward gun, so now you're just firing HE from the forward. Uh, and in theory, you have AP on the rear, I think. Oh, hello, Blackwater class. Uh, nope. I'm turning. I don't want to be next to you, even if your rudder is stuck. Uh, we're gonna go this way. There's still more stuff to engage over here. Guys, if it's dead in the water, you don't need to fire on it. Just... Word of wise. Or word to the wise, or whatever. You know, once it's dead in the water, it's gonna sink. So this one that's still moving up here? Yeah, you fire on that. We finished our objective. Okay, now we sail out this way. I'm gonna tell you guys to hold fire. Until such time as I tell you to stop holding fire, which is going to be now. Also, go full speed now. Close the gap, make sure they don't get away. And now you can slow down to uh, cruising speed, actually. Ah, uh, it's fine, guys, that your heavy AA is, uh, getting low. Turn around. Is your... No, your radar is still functional. You guys are just... Kind of struggling to pick these things up on radar. Especially once they're, like, right on the edge of radar range. After you pass them, because reasons. I, I don't know what the hell the deal is with that. Okay, there was some stuff I saw down here. I don't know. There we go. Destroyer. Don't know if it's escorting anything. But it's picking shit up, that's for certain. No survivors. 
Uh, we're going for the thing that's definitely picking people up. The other thing, I, I don't know what the hell it's doing, but it ain't picking people up, that's for certain. Uh, I heard what sounded like a big gun fire, and I don't know if that was me. Okay, that was in fact a destroyer. So that must have been me that I heard the big gun fire come from. Are you a transport? Because... You kind of seem like you might be, but you're going in the wrong direction to be a transport. Uh, you were in fact a transport. I don't know why you were going south. So, sunk three enemy destroyers, all 18 of their transports, stuck on them apples, Britain. And no survivors. So these are British float planes. I don't care about the British float planes. Japanese flying boats. I don't care about Japanese flying boats. Uh, Japanese CVLs undergoing reconstruction. I don't really care about. Also, goddammit, they have freaking <laughs> catapults. Uh, advanced anti-aircraft directors for improving heavy AA and medium AA. Wonderful. Prototype torpedo bomber. Uh, we have the Vought here, which is the fastest of the bunch. It also has the most range. Uh, but it has less toughness than the Brewster that we currently have. And, though it is a little bit more maneuverable for whatever benefit that's actually going to provide. There's the Groom in here. A little bit slower, but a lot more range. Well, a little bit slower max speed. Cruising speed is the same, actually. Uh, but a lot more range across the board. It has a little bit extra maneuvering over what the Vought has. Same toughness. I think we're going to go for the Groom in here, because I want the extra range. That's always nice. And Flying Boat Sunken Enemy Sub. Where's my Oklahoma? It's ten turns. I swear that should have gone down, but it hasn't. Oh well. Battleship engagement. You guys have a single battleship. Are you actually going to do this? Yeah, I figured as much. And the hunting done is in dock. With it, or in the yard with engine problems. Okay. Uh, enemy, I think, I don't know. I was paying attention. I think that was British. Uh, torpedo bombers, top speed of 160, so they are faster than our existing ones and going to be slower than our um, new Groomans coming in. Uh, but they have a lot less range than our Groomans at only 260 nautical miles for combat radius. I'm not using subs. Improved air search radar is always nice. And the British sunk a large liner pissing off neutral nations. Um, oh, yes, speaking of the fact that I'm not using subs, uh, we're going to set that to low, thank you very much. Convoy attack. Are you going to do it? Yeah, nope. Uh, British CVL. Undergoing reconstruction, I think it said. Not that I really care. Yeah. This is an old one. I think this is actually a conversion that they did. Either way. And it, yep, again, as I had mentioned in a previous episode, after I found this out when I updated my spreadsheet, the AI is cheating. It has four 4-inch four dual-purpose main guns and six 4-inch dual-purpose secondaries. You can't do that. At least I, the player, cannot do that. But apparently the AI can. Uh, after having a successful one-time engagement around Newfoundland for, or push rather, from the army, they are now failing miserably. So 
to push back from uh, to push and take enemy fortifications. Uh, enemy coastal raid. They choose not to give it to me. France wants to buy stuff, sure. Our top spies managed to acquire the knowledge of TNT Fiddler from Germany. And increases maximum carrier size. Not that I plan to build any larger carriers than the Wasps, to be honest. There's, I mean, what? The next is a 200 aircraft carrier? This late in the game? No thanks. So Vought New Floatplane Scout. It has a little extra firepower and that's literally the only improvement for it. I'll take it. Uh, no bad news this time around, Newfoundland. And they torpedoed and damaged the Yorktown, which is a old... That's a Langley, right? Yeah. Wait, didn't the Yorktown get torpedoed and damaged, like, last part as well? The Yorktown's just not lucky, it seems. Uh, oh well, you have a Dreadnought and a CV, you might actually give me this one, and no. Uh, with just the Dreadnought? Oh shit, they are, okay, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, literally, the thing says they have a Dreadnought, an AMC, and six or something like that destroyers, and they're actually going to give me battle here. Day just passed, or excuse me, night just passed. We got all our CVs here. The Enterprise, the Wasp, the Langley, though I would have preferred the Enterprise and Wasp in a group together. The Langley in its own, but whatever. Uh, Saratoga's here, so that's nice. Uh, maximum cap. Heavy, heavy. Uh, ready for strike. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Ready for strike. Yep, Saratoga launch your stuff. Once I get the chance, I'll have the Chauncey and the Cincinnati go and stick with our convoy. Now, we're not launching a whole lot in terms of, uh... Aircraft for scouting recon, or for scouting purposes specifically, so we're probably not going to find the enemy via our scouts. If I'm being honest. Unknown radar contact. Oh, that's just the already... Corvettes, I think those are that are escort or maybe destroy. No, if those are destroyers, those are tiny destroyers. Which they could be. We do have some old destroyers still roaming about. Yeah, those are those old, old destroyers roaming about. Old Dale classes that are directly escorting uh, the convoy. Now the question is just, well, where the hell are the enemy? And that's what we're gonna have to try and find because, yeah. And we're doing it the pre-aircraft way because I, I didn't want my freaking carriers launching all their damn torpedo bombers and shit as scouts. I really wish I could tell them, if you do not have float plane scouts to launch as scouts, use fighters. I don't want dive bombers and torpedo bombers being used as scouts. The simple reason for that is that it's not helpful. Also, the enemy is apparently down in this direction, so thank you for that information. 
go ahead and get our guys set up and ready to start going for there. So select all that are ready, launch strike. I don't care about coordinated strikes. Select all that are ready, launch strike. Again, I do not care about coordinated strikes. Um, yeah, okay, no, they are evidently heading northeast-ish. That's the direction we're gonna go in. Uh, we'll go at 20 knots, so we don't... Well, we're using oil now. Well, oil or diesel. So, you know what? Full speed ahead. We don't have people tossing coal into the burners and them getting exhausted. We'll do that. We've launched our aircraft, or at least some of them have been launched. It looks like another group are being launched right about now as well. Yeah. And let's see if we get any hits. Yep. Ten Brewster Era Comets are approaching enemy ships. The ten are you right here. Okay, they have adjusted position. They're now heading straight east, it looks like. Uh, oh, one of our aircraft got destroyed by medium AA. No bomb hits. Mm, another got damaged. No bomb hits. Another got damaged. No bomb hits. Twelve more coming in on another run. Mm, no damage. No bomb hits. We got a bomb hit on what's being marked as an armored cruiser. This is... This marker is for a Dreadnought, which, I mean, could be inaccurate, of course, but who the hell knows. Uh, hit on a transport, which is probably a destroyer, because there's no reason for them to have a transport all the way up there. Uh, most of these other guys are hanging a little too far south. They're failing to recognize change in the enemy. Okay, they seem to be heading north again. Uh, presumably, once these guys decide to start head back home, they're not gonna. They're not gonna spot these guys and say oh wait i see the enemy over there let's drop our payload real quick and then we'll then we'll head home i don't think that's gonna happen uh you get ready for strike Aratoga had to slow down to pick up its float plane scouts. Which screwed with the constitution, which is not expecting that change, apparently. Uh, yeah. Cincinnati, turn. Now, the Chauncey might find this guy first, potentially. Assuming that, you know, they're still heading in this direction. We It's been a little while since we got updated info. Uh, but I think he would be within radar range now if he was still on that exact same heading. Uh, okay, so not exactly that heading. It's also possible they were just going a little slower than I anticipated. But based off where the line was, they should have basically been within radar range already. And there's all that shit, okay.
You guys, get ready. You. Get ready. I got a target for you right over here. Uh, launch. Oh, you don't fire your torpedoes just because you want to. Something being marked as an armored cruiser. And it's the Collingwood. We're gonna sink their other dreadnought. Well, potentially. We're waiting for these guys to get back home so we actually have a full load again. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn north. In fact, we're actually gonna turn northeast to get out of firing range. I do not wish to engage right now. I want to give our bombers time, well, our aircraft rather, time to be able to get another run in. Uh, the Saratoga has did take a hit that went that passed through the hull. Cincinnati. Basically, I just want to keep them on radar as of right now. That's all I really care to do. As long as I can keep them on radar. Or just keep some sort of eye on them. Doesn't necessarily need to be radar. Uh, you guys need to turn a little north. Didn't quite plot your route evidently properly for uh, taking into account enemy heading. Which I really wish I could actually be a little bit more accurate with this, but I guess I'm just going to have to give you an estimate of they're maybe going to be around about there by the time you guys actually launch. Cincinnati, turn south. I don't want you getting shot at. Just want radar contact. Um, you know what? Since the enemy doesn't seem to have a CV, I mean, there was something being reported as a CV. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a CV. Uh, we're going to go ahead and actually lower our cap so maybe our carriers can actually launch some scouts. Now we need to find them again because we lost sight. Assuming we can find them again. Oh, huh, that is actually shocking. Is our radar actually just that bad? <laughs> uh, Cause I think you guys should have found them again. Well, oh, shit. Oh, uh, uh, eight. Uh, eight are approaching, so they went southish. We got a bomb hit on the uh, what was being reported as the dreadnought, which is gonna be the dreadnought. So they're further south now than I anticipated.
Okay, new marker is over there. Okay, new marker is there. Or here. Holy shit, our guys can't do anything. We are getting a lot of misreportings. Uh, that was you, I think. I think that said there was 10, right? Yes, that's you. Uh, one aircraft damage, no bomb hits. Two bomb hits on what's being marked as a CL. Bomb hit on a destroyer. There we go, radar contact. Um, I have some guys that are ready to go. You guys get ready. Select all who are ready over here, launch. Um, you get ready to launch. You get ready. You get ready. Saratoga's taken fire, which is actually somewhat interesting. Is that one being marked as a CL, the Dreadnought? Because it might be, but I can't really tell. Uh, it's the only one that would make sense. Everything else is being reported as destroyers, which are far too small for misreporting. I mean, that would be very egregious misreporting. That is, in fact, correct. Did we do any significant damage to it? We did basically bug kiss. Nothing of any real note. Uh, Saratoga has taken damage to its uh, engine room. Got two hits on you, but nothing any of real note. Uh, select you here. Select already. Me select already launch strike. That's the wrong button. Select all that are ready launch strike. Another hit, another hit. Destroyed the forward gun. Well, one of the forward guns, rather. Uh, three hits, knocked out all the rear guns. Wonderful. Gives us free reign on firing on you. I just need to deal with these damn destroyers. We're going to sort of break off to minimize them firing torpedoes on us, or at least them being any way accurate. Another hit on the Collingwood. Another hit on the Collingwood. Saratoga's taking a hit from, uh... Well, it took a hit from the Collingwood, in fact, actually. Oh, shit, tons of hits on the Collingwood there. If you could just knock out that forward gun That'd be great. And it's dead in the water. Chauncey, this is your chance to prove your worth. Look at all those guns you got. You know, I don't normally do the whole four uh, centerline turrets on destroyers for a number of reasons. Their primary gun for me, well, primary weapon rather, not primary gun. The primary weapon for me is their torpedoes. That is the only thing that is important on them is lots of speed and torpedoes. Beyond that, I literally do not care about their guns in the slightest, but I figured to give the Chauncey it because I had weight to spare and nothing to do, basically. And you know what? It makes it a decent gunboat. You see that, Collingwood? Chauncey, this is your chance to get in on the whole free alcohol for life. 
Well, well rather, it'd be covered by the uh, Admiral Fleet. There you go. Holy crap, Chauncey. You got four hits. Because part of avenging the Lexington will also be sinking the Collingwood. So anybody who got to double dip, lucky you. You got to double dip. That will we'll extend the offer to any your family. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, Anybody who only gets one, well, you know what, it's fine. You get it, which is still really good for you. Uh, anybody ready? Nope. Okay. Anybody? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Did we already launch our guys? Yeah, they're just taking forever to get up here. Cincinnati, you got torpedoes, right? You do, yes. Cincinnati, I'm pretty sure you were there when the other one got sunk. So you're, we're going to be get to extend the offer to your entire family. And four hits, wonderful, again. Uh, that Gurk is going down. The Eden is still going strong. At least it's trying. They it actually knocked out one of its torpedo tubes. Or one of its torpedo mounts, rather. Yeah, that Gurkha is dead. Now we just gotta take care of the other Gurkha. Chauncey's still going after the Eden in here. And it's doing a pretty good job. It disabled one of the rear turrets, or it got jammed one of the two. Either way, we're just gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say that we did it, not the AI. <laughs> you know? We're not going to give their crew the excuse that they're the ones who actually did the damage and made our lives easier. Uh, but they got it back up now, sadly. And we destroyed uh, the other one instead. And destroyed the other torpedo mount as well, it looks like. Now, obviously, they're not using oxygen-based torpedoes or whatever it's called, because if they were, well, that destroying both of those should have basically blown up the ship. As a general rule of thumb, that tends to be how these things work. And the Eden's dead in the water. Now we just gotta deal with the Gurkha here. Well, the last Gurkha, rather. But it ain't gonna last much longer, especially if the Saratoga fires its main guns and gets any hits. Oh, yeah, we knocked out both your rear guns. You're not firing on us anymore. Because you're just running away. Chauncey's at 50% ammo. Uh, 16, uh, dive bombers coming in on their destroyer. Got a bomb hit. Disabled one of the forward turrets. Another bomb hit, apparently. Or not disabled, rather destroyed. Uh, but another bomb hit again. Two more bomb hits. Uh, one more bomb hit. None that time. Jesus, I was about to say, that thing should be dead by now. How, considering the amount of bombs it took, I'm honestly shocked it was still able to go for a couple extra uh, rounds there. But there we go. So, sunk the Collingwood and three destroyers. Suck on that app. That, uh, Britain. Another one of our Chaunceys finished. Don't let them off lightly. Peace is concluded. Wonderful. Okay, guys, I am going to take Hong Kong. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, game's only giving me five, or uh, excuse me, six uh, war scores. So I'm going to take Hong Kong and Bermuda. Bermuda, because it's annoying to try and take. Uh, new torpedo bomber. 
is officially entered service and oh look at that I have uh, lots of money I'm losing so we're gonna have to uh, well we got some money in the bank so we'll live for a little while uh, but we're gonna have to find out a way to deal with this uh, what I'm probably gonna do reserve all those yeah I know ignore I don't care Saves us a couple thousand. It's like 3,000. A little less than that, actually, but we're just going to round and say 3,000. Makes life nice and easier. And as I mentioned, as I as I mentioned before, yeah, game doesn't properly sort this at times. You see, it's sorting 78792227. That, no. No, game. That's not how you sort in ascending or descending order. That is how you sort by just randomly choosing a number to sort by. Or, well, rather, what number goes next is randomly selected based off how you're feeling at that exact moment in time. You know, if I'm wanting you to sort ascending, it should be, you know, these twos in whatever order you want to put them in, probably sorted by name after you sort them by months left. Followed by the Nebraskan here, which is a interesting name. Rather than calling it the Nebraska, it's the Nebraskan. Uh, followed by the Lake Owen, then these two sevens here, the Brooklyn and the Oklahoma. Followed by the Rochester. Followed by the Arizona. Then the Lexington Hornet and Independence. But no, 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 you choose not to do that because you don't want to follow the rules. Uh, sure. Whatever. Give them stuff. Uh, rebellion is broken out in the British possession of the Falkland Islands. Well, it's a good thing I didn't take the Falklands. And Naval Statistical Department has compiled a study of enemy aircraft losses during the recent war. 41 total enemy aircraft were shot down. 61% of those were by fighters, 2% by other aircraft. So, torpedo bombers, dive bombers, shit like that. 12% uh, by heavy AA, 7 by medium, and 17 by light AA, which is somewhat shocking. I didn't realize our light AA was actually proving to be reasonably effective, a little more so than our heavy AA. Though that could also just be because we have more light AA in general. Um, but, yeah, that's basically going to cripple the British. Also... Uh, game says they're building a single destroyer, or excuse me, Dreadnought, um, with 98,000 total tonnage. One, that's not true. Uh, you can't do that game. Max tonnage was something like, what was it? 89,500 or something like that? So just shy of uh, 90,000? So, no, they're not building a dreadnought of 98,000 tons. So, somewhere in there, they have a ship that's halted. It is being counted. Do we know? Uh, yes, we do, in fact. Uh, we have two redoubtables, estimated 1950 and 1951, an indomitable, 1951, and two inflexible. Oh, well, no, never mind. These are just the redoubtables, which are 49,000 each. These are all battle cruisers here. Oh, they're building whole new battle cruisers. They're, <laughs> yeah, because they basically lost a large chunk of all their capital ships. They're able to rebuild basically from scratch that stuff, which is great for them because it means they'll have better shit in their next war, which won't be against us. At least that's not the plan. But you know how, you know how plans are. Uh, you want to build me another rush? Hmm. You say you can do it in a year and 10% discount. Do I really want another rush? I'm losing money. I'm going to say no. Uh, a strong arms industry is the foundation for a strong navy. We shall allow one of our major arms firms to sell ships to a South American country. Probably Brazil. Weight savings on machinery, weight savings on hull.
Um, Kentucky, or excuse me, the Rhode Island and South Carolina are going to go to the West Coast. That I can reserve fleet them. We're going to reserve fleet all of the older ships. Unless they have elite uh, crew quality, then they don't get reserved fleeted. Uh, the Saratoga, you know what, actually, no, the Saratoga can't be reserved fleeted. That's fine. Uh, the Caribbean doesn't work for reserve fleet, right? No, actually, it does. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, I was going to scrap all our CVLs because I don't care for them. So that's some extra money saved. Uh, let's see, the Yorktown and Ranger can not be reserved fleeted because they have to go back to the west coast to do that. Uh, the Enterprise can be reserved fleeted. It does not have elite crew quality like the Wasp does. Uh, the Dales can be reserved fleeted. All the new Chaunceys can be reserved fleeted. Uh, the Corvettes can stay as they are. You know what I... Th ah, yes. The Wasps. Uh, got a present for you all. Deck Edge Lifts. Deck Park, for whatever that's going to be worth. I'll give you new fire control. I will replace your machinery because I've I've got the points, and you know what? It allows me to slap some more AA on you. Can I upgrade your guns? I can. Wonderful. Let's do that. We're gonna give you a 16 dual purpose 5 inch guns as secondaries now instead of for 4s. And we'll upgrade the tertiaries from 3 to 4 so that you now have a total heavy AA factor of 73. I was about to say 74 for some reason. 73. Uh, and we'll give you some more medium AA guns, bringing you up to 32 medium AA guns and 32 light AA guns with four AA directors. You're also getting advanced director for your fire control. Not that that's important. Because you shouldn't be firing your main guns at all. If you are, something has gone horribly wrong, as a general rule of thumb, with uh, carriers, that's how that goes, for me at least. If you're firing your main guns, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, I can give you more aircraft if I wanted to, which, I mean, maybe I do. Uh, it's like an extra two, screw it. No thanks. What do I do then? Guess I can make your turrets a little bit heavier. Three inch turrets. Three inch turret tops and three inch secondaries, because why not? They'll be out for a year for this, but that's fine with me. Uh, what's this? A formation of Japanese flying boats of the type Yokosuka Araki or Arakai, or what, whatever, have crossed the Atlantic, led by a prominent air marshal. The press is asking you to comment. Uh, we should strengthen our air defenses to guard against long-range aerial bombardment. Rebellion in Falklands continues. Two destroyers commissioned. Germany wants to buy stuff, by all means. New German dive bomber, rumored to be faster than ours. Anyway, I should only have a single dive bomber. Oh, we are we actually apparently still keep the Sentinels as a... Uh, they have not been obsoleted. You know, obsolete those. And the Bearcats can be obsoleted as well. Thank you. Um, I will take, however, a new medium bomber. Range and speed. Uh, yeah, give it the extra month for the Oklahoma, whatever. 
German government wants to buy supercharged diesels, sure. Baffled by the problem of modern quadruple medium AA mountings, rebellion in Falklands continues. That was my timer that just went off. I should give the Arizona the extra month. The Indiana wants an upgrade. I can give it better director. More AA. Um, drop the secondaries down to fives, put them in dual gun mounts. Give it more medium AA. Place machinery, upgrade to diesel, make you faster if I can. I can. How fast can I make you? Well, how fast, how much can your hull take? Okay. Anything more than 29 and the game wants you to become a battle cruiser instead. Uh, but, and you max out actually at 28 as a result of your hull form. I don't think it's actually possible though for me to give you um, 28 though. Well, it probably is. I'm just far too lazy to try and make that work is the better way to describe it actually. There we go. That. Should, yeah, no, there's no way I can do that. Just because I'm too lazy to try and get it to work. I'll give you an extra half inch of top turret armor, or turret top armor, whatever. The Indiana, or this is South Carolina, this is the Indiana class. Get its rebuild. Uh, the Langleys. I'll send them for the rebuild after the Wasps come back, I guess. Uh, VHF radio and aircraft increases cap effectiveness. Rebellion in Falklands continues. Rising prosperity leads to increasing costs for maintaining ship. Great, thank you, game. Uh, French want to buy variable pitch propellers, sure. My ships just became more expensive, uh, though probably not by too much, I imagine. The Oklahoma has been commissioned. And the French want to buy increased fire Hazard awareness. Sure. There's our brand spanking new Oklahomas, which have three aircraft. I thought I only gave them two, but apparently I gave them three. That's fine. I don't really care. Um, we'll probably fight one more war before this series officially ends. I don't know against two. It's been a while since we fought the Russians. Um, so maybe them, but I don't know. We'll figure it out when that time comes, but for now, there's our beautiful, beautiful Oklahomas. Uh, 20 inches in the belt with box magazine, that should be able to stand up, at least where the actual bulk of the armor is, uh, by quite a bit. Uh, 5 inches on the deck, which technically because of box magazine is only 2.5 in certain locations. Uh, but that still avoids splintering, because splintering is at 2 inches, or anything less than 2 inches, rather. Uh, 14 inches on the turrets, so they're kind of thick turrets. 7 inches on the secondaries, which are pretty thick secondaries. <laughs> uh, 13 inches on the conning tower, so that thing can take a bit of a beating from uh, more, well, smaller big shells. Uh, 16 inches, I think, can still pen that especially at close range. 
Uh, but this, this is the only ship class that we have built and that we will build during this campaign, since we're basically at the end anyway, with 18 inch guns, which I did actually go ahead and, you know, take a second to look at. Uh, they do actually at the same, at the max range of 16 inch guns, they do still have more penetration than 16 inch guns. Um, and then they proceed to outrange 16 inch guns by, I think it was like 3000 yards, give or take. Um, so yeah. Uh, also since we've gotten stuff, I've noticed that it looks like we can add more AA to our stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I think when we researched something that gave us like quad, yeah, quadruple light AA mountings. I think, I could be wrong about this, but I think that that might have actually given us some, uh, the ability to actually add more light and medium AA. Don't quote me on that, because I'm, but I'm pretty sure the Oklahoma's here, we gave them the max amount of anti-aircraft we could give them for their AA positions. And they still proceeded to go ahead and have more. Also, holy crap, if I give you 5-inch guns... Oh, it's okay, it's only... Okay, never mind. It only takes from 72 to uh, 79. I was kind of expecting a lot more, to be honest, but... Uh, eh, eh. Oh, well. I uh, drop... Holy crap. Doing that upgrade is expensive. I'd have to actually send you for a replaced machinery to be able to do that. Um. How about no? Considering it's only seven points. Um. Yeah, let's, uh, Oklahoma's. You're gonna want the extra AA. Ah, uh, but yeah, so. These cap out at 35,000 yards, while the 16-inch guns capped out at 33,000. So, okay, it's only 2,000. For some reason, I thought it was 3,000. But at 3,000 yards, it's 6.63 on the belt. Here, it's 7.254. So, these 18-inch guns do outrange and outpen the 16 inches. And our 16s are quality 1. These are quality 0. If by some miracle before I decide to finish this campaign officially um if we do end up hitting uh 18 or excuse me getting quality one 18 inch guns that's going to be a good improvement because that's like an extra one or two thousand yards of range along with extra pen these things are going to be great granted they kind of suffer because we don't yet have blind firing with from detecting targets on radar um but if we can never get that, these things are wonderful. They really would be. But we still don't have that tech yet. And there's no guarantee that we will by the end of this campaign. Um, but let's send these guys in for a minor refit so, for some more light AA. Because why not? It's going to take how long? Four months, you know what? I'll We'll let this part run a little bit long. I'll take the four months. Get it done this part. Arizona has been commissioned. Rochester has finished a reconstruction. Russia's doing some shit. Issue an ultimatum. Russia is unimpressed. Or, eh, unimpressed by our ultimatum and completes the occupation of Norway. However, some locals have taken up arms against the new regime. Good for them. 7 8 inch auto loaders. Uh, I'll probably want that. Unexpected advances in anti-aircraft artillery, improves medium AA effectiveness, close to mastering specialized landing craft. Great Britain did manage to crush the rebels in the Falklands, surprisingly. Uh, send the Arizona in for its rebuild as well. Brooklyn finished her reconstruction. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to send the Brooklyns back in, I think, for... Oh no, they use 9-inch guns, never mind. 
specialized landing craft, improved invasion capability. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to send them back in for the auto loader, but no, that's that's for a uh, seven and eight inch that we just got. So the Minneapolis's could have auto loading primaries, which I might want to do actually. Give you a nice big rebuild. Okay, still can't give director secondaries on anything smaller than a CA. There you go, we'll do that now. Yeah. Oh, wait, you were 6,200. Center lines are 7,000, right? That I max out on? Can I give you a center line 5? Uh, maybe not the P. Q? Yeah, Q. I can. Wonderful. That gives me some extra weight. Which... Can I give you another one? Uh, not quite. Can I make that work at all, however? Uh, if I take away some of the... Secondaries, yeah, but I don't want to do that, so no thanks. So, yeah, we'll just do it like that. Uh, 10 months for that. Oh, can I switch you to diesel? I can. Now maybe I can, actually. Now I can. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Can I? No, not quite. Yeah, because now actually we do actually save space with diesel over oil. I probably should send my shit in all for upgrades to diesel in that case now. Um, I never, I, again, I have not played a game all the way to completion, so I didn't realize that actually you do eventually get a tech that makes diesels way less than, uh, oil. Uh, cause I do know from reading the wiki, like I mentioned in a previous part, the advantage of diesels is they have less of a weight penalty for uh, long and extreme range and they accelerate faster than oil but they weigh more than oil um, at default but then eventually we got a tech that made diesel weigh less than oil now so thanks <laughs> I send the Minneapolis's they're gonna get those auto loading six inchers on their primaries I mean, I suppose I could send the Brooklyn's in, downgrade them to eight inches instead of nines. It's not a significant loss. Plus, they'll be auto loaders, so they'll be able to fire a lot faster. Also, damn it! Now that we got auto loading seven and eights, I'm gonna have to send the wasps. Well, I don't have to, but I could send the wasps back in to give them auto loading primaries. They shouldn't be using them, so they don't need auto loading primaries. So yeah, we just won't, I think. It shouldn't cause any issue. Oh, Chauncey's. Okay, I don't have auto-loading... Um, fives. I believe fives do get auto-loaders, and I... But I don't think fours do. Don't quote me on that. Uh, Germany chose not to renew... France wants to, you know what, sure, France, we can extend ours. Revolution, South American country, send a strong squadron. Oh, look, okay, yeah. Uh, looks like we'll be getting that war with Russia. Uh, and our Oklahomas will just in time be finished with their reconstruction. Hornet has been commissioned, Lexington has been commissioned. Sure, give the independence the extra month. New liberal government, I kind of want the extra month game to get my Oklahomas out, so we can live with this. Social reforms passed by parliament. Unexpected advances in torpedo tech. Uh, Moto Bomba FFF, airdropped tor torpedoes will run patterns, so in theory they are more likely to hit a target now, even if they miss initially. New medium bomber. Oh, look at all that range, especially that Curtis. Holy crap, 785 at a light bomb load. 
which is a one 600 pound bomb so screw it that's worthless but uh that medium and heavy one 2000 and two 2000s oh uh, we're gonna go with the curtis here it's a little bit slower than the brewster up there at 225 max speed um but i love the extra range i love it more than the loss and more than i hate the loss in speed so we'll take the curtis like i said uh No, we're not going to support the Norwegian Rebels. Uh, okay. So the Wasps. Oh no, so these are these are the old Wasps. This, these are the original model Wasps that need to be sent for a one-year rebuild. <laughs> um, to be brought up to snuff. There's the Arizona. Yes, we'll arm them now this time. And the Houston need rebuilds. What can I do with you guys? I can upgrade your fire control. And replace your machinery and switch you to diesel and give you some more AA. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Five inches? Yeah. Yeah, can I give you tertiaries? How many can I give you? You'll allow up to 32, so that's what, like eight? Yeah, eight of those. Do that. You get 68. Yeah, that's fine with me. Uh, make your turrets a little heavier, a little more weight on the secondaries, or maybe not. Maybe make you faster. Yeah, get you up to 30 knots. That's fine with me. So you have 68 heavy AA factor. It's not a significant improvement for the... Uh, Wait, but you know what? Every little bit counts. So, you know what? I'm still going to take it. Uh, it's going to take 10 months. You know what? That's fine. The reality is I don't expect you guys to be doing anything uh, for a while. Also, the actual Houston, I'm just going to go ahead and scrap to make my life easier. For the sake of managing that stuff. Okay, the Arizona finished, but the Oklahoma needs an extra month, apparently. Germany wants to buy stuff, sure. Close to inventing magnetic mines, Russia crushed the rebels in Norway. Despite the fact that I armed them. Uh, the independence. Okay, yeah, that got the same rebuild as the Saratoga. Good, the game is smart about this. It didn't create a Saratoga R1950, or excuse me, 1950 to screw with me. I, I never paid attention to if it actually recognize this type of stuff and yeah you guys also need to get the uh better uh well not better but the improved aa well not necessarily improved but you know what i mean eight months to do that and that takes from 72 to 79, which is still an improvement, which I'm going to probably take, to be honest, because, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Eight months for that, with a war looming with Russia. Well, it's Russia. You know what? It's Russia. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm fine with this. You can have the eight months to do that. And, uh, you know what, I will... I'll wait till the wasp's out. I need to double check that it actually did its shit right. Oh good, we're about to get a new director. Magnetic mines improves mine efficiency. Not that I've noticed mines are particularly effective. Gradual increase in national ASW is always nice. And, wasp, did you actually get the thing I told you to do? God damn it, I swear, game, you do not do this stuff properly. 
I have no idea if you actually gave the ship that stuff. Because I can deselect it here. That's the thing. I have no idea if the ship actually has that stuff. Nor do I know if it even is working. Like, I shouldn't be able to deselect stuff when I open the design. Only when I open design for rebuild. So I have no idea if those ships have it. They're supposed to. I, And I don't want to dig through the game files to try to find them. And double check that they have a 1 where it's supposed to be a 1 instead of a 0. Because the game's a little screwy with some of those upgrades. We're just going to assume they have them. I don't know if they do. I don't care to double check. We're just going to assume they do. They're more expen the Wasp is more expensive now than the Lexington and Hornet, so evidently it must have something going for it, I would think. Um, do I want to get a new fighter? Not really. I'm fine with my current one, I think. Um, oh, yes. I might scrap the Langley's. Well, no, their CVs are still pretty good. They're smaller than the Wasp, but they're still pretty good. So we might keep them around. I'm not sure. You know, you've kind of got this issue with a lack of authorized air cr or a lack of training capacity for carrier air crews by about 300. <laughs> um, yeah. Also, apparently I have a total aircraft ASW value of 537. That's a lot. Uh, but I'll see you all next time where we'll be continuing this campaign. Because again, I want to be able to show off missiles. Because otherwise I will probably never show them off. Because I don't expect to have any campaigns that go as long as this one is going. So I want to make sure to show off as much of the endgame stuff that is currently there. The devs have mentioned in the past they have they have contemplated at least potentially releasing some sort of like expansion to the game no idea what that will cover um it might add technologies it might make changes to the game um to make aircraft maybe easier to manage who knows um but yeah so I will see you all next time as we continue this campaign. We are rapidly approaching what is supposed to be the official end date of the game, which again is 1955 if I recall correctly. And we might be going to war with Russia. Tensions have gone back down um, after a little bit, but we might still end up in a war with Russia potentially. But I will see you all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.